Hello everyone, I am Jimmy Sriharsha. Today's topic is aquifers. What is an aquifer? Aquifer is a permeable rock formation that is present beneath the surface which would act as a reservoir to store the huge volume of water in it beneath the surface. Right? See, based on the porosity and permeability, these aquifers are of three types which include aquiclude, aquitard and aquifuse. Aquiclude is a type of aquifer in which the porosity is present but the permeability is absent which makes the no use of the pore spaces that are present in it. The best example for aquiclude is clay. And the next type is aquitard. Aquitard is a type of aquifer in which the porosity and permeability are present in the equal amounts. The best example for aquitard is sandstone and as well as gravel too. And next is aquifuse. Aquifuse is nothing but a type of uh, aquifer in which the porosity and permeability both are absent. The best example for this aquifuse is granite. That means all the compact rocks which doesn't have the pore spaces and permeability comes under the aquifuse. Right? Now, based on the pressure and overlying beds, the aquifers are classified into three categories. Unconfined aquifers, confined aquifers and semi-confined aquifers. Now, let us know about unconfined aquifers. Unconfined aquifers are nothing but the aquifers in which the water is carried in the amount of atmospheric pressure level. So whatever the atmospheric uh, pressure exists outside, say with the same pressure the water exists in it, unconfined aquifers. And when you drill a bore well into an unconfined aquifers, whatever the water level present in it represents the water table. And next type is confined aquifer. Confined aquifer is a type of aquifer in which uh, aquifer which carrying water is sandwiched by the aquiclude on the upper side and lower side. That means it's a type of aquifer which is present between two aquicludes. And these two aquicludes won't allow the water to rise up or to penetrate downwards. But the water is received from the upper surface ele elevation and travels towards the slope. And when you drill a bore well in the confined aquifer, what happens is the water that is flow flowing in this aquifer with high pressure escapes outside through this bore well and splits out. Such type of wells are called artesian wells. And next type of aquifer is semi-confined aquifer. This type of uh, aquifer is also sandwiched but the difference is on the upper side you will have an aquitard instead of an aquitude. And the remaining things are same. The lower side you will have the aquiclude that means a impermeable rock bed. So whatever the water present in this uh, aquifer could travel upward by this aquitard which has uh, best uh, porosity and permeability. Right? These are the types of aquifers. Now let me explain this topic once again. Aquifer are nothing but the permeal, permeable rock formation in which the water is stored in the higher volume beneath the surface and that water is received into these aquifers by the precipitation infiltration process right based on the porosity and permeability the aquifers are of three types which include aquiclude aquitard aquifuse aquiclude is nothing but the type of aquifer in which the porosity is present but permeability is absent the best example is clay and aquitard is nothing but the aquifer with uh, good porosity and permeability best example is sandstone and aquifuse is nothing but a compact rock in, uh, in which the porosity and permeability are absent. Best example is granite. And again, based on the pressure and overlying beds, the aquifers are of three types, unconfined, confined, semi-confined. In unconfined aquifers, you will have the water under atmospheric pressure. And uh, if you drill a bore well, the water levels that are present in the unconfined aquifer represents the water table of that particular area. Whereas in the case of confined aquifer, the water moves under pressure which is more than the atmospheric pressure on the outer surface. And when you drill a bore well in this uh, confined aquifer, what happens is, the water which is uh, flowing with high pressure in this aquifer that is sandwiched between two aquiclodes explode outside. And those wells are called artesian wells. Last but not least, semi-confined aquifers in which the replacement takes place with the aquitard in the place of aquiclode and the lower side the aquiclode is present. In between the aquifer is present. And when you dig a bore well, you could receive the water from this aquifer and you could also find the water above this aquitard region. 
Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video to your friends. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Harsha Info and Tutorials. Thank you.